New today, a woman who has been a Hoosier as long as she can remember is fighting to stay in this country. She's getting help in her battle from the Catholic Church. RTV6's Rafael Sanchez has the latest on what happened today. Catching up with the mom we've introduced you to before here on RTV6. Erica, may the blessing of Almighty God come upon you, be with you forever. Fill your heart, your soul, your mind. This was a first for Charles Thompson. The Archbishop of the Indianapolis Catholic Archdiocese has spoken and written about immigration before, but this was the first time he joined a parishioner facing deportation at their immigration check-in. We ask this blessing of Almighty God in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Erica Fierro is hoping the government will let her stay. The Beach Grove High School graduate and mother of two U.S.-born children was brought to the United States by her parents from Mexico at the age of five. She is not eligible for DACA. I'm a woman of faith. Thanks to all these communities that have shown us how to grow in the Lord. As a woman of faith, I work and serve in our community. As you can see behind me, the vigil continued even after Fierro went inside for her check-in. They sang, they prayed, they stood in solidarity. Immigration and Customs Enforcement tells RTV6 that Fierro is under an order of supervision, which gives an individual time to prepare for deportation. ICE says her husband, Jesus, is in custody right now, pending a return to Mexico. During her meeting, Erica learned her status has not changed and that she must report back to the office in two weeks for another check-in. In Indianapolis, Rafael Sanchez, RTV6.